Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Man, it's like, well, in the beginning, there were no Gentiles. Uh, I, you know, I've, you know, I've accepted Christ and I, look, yeah, Adam and Eve were not Gentiles. They were not, there were no Jews or Gentiles before they sinned. You what know, Christ, you Christ died on the cross, Christ died on the cross to take all of humanity back before sin ever came into the world. Okay. I, I'm trying to figure out exactly so, where I want to yeah. go. So you know what I'm There's saying? So many Give me this first. Three. Matthew! Chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said. He's asking good questions, so I, I just want to answer it in order. You understand? I am not sent. Read. So let's start at 21. Let's get the story. Let's get out the Seraphonician woman. Okay? This is what I want, right? Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan. A woman of who? Canaan. Are we a people of Canaan? No. But when you read in Mark, she was a Seraphonician woman. Okay. And cried another, unto him. She was another nation. She cried out to Christ. Read. Saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. What did, let's see what Christ said. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her, not a word. Why did Jesus not answer her a word? Uh, Why? They didn't really, they didn't really talk to women, I guess. That's that's why they didn't really. In multiple the Paul Jews men, they really, they the really. In multiple Paul letters, it says salute. Oh the women. yeah, that was yeah, that was after Christ had him died and resurrected and all that. Mary, kind of stuff. it was multiple women but under the that old was under with the under the old covenant. Jewish priests and all that. They didn't they didn't talk to women in public and stuff like that. Did God talk to Sarah? No. Good enough, God. Yeah, yeah, God. Yeah. So that's okay. Before all that. Yeah. <laughs> but he answered her not a word. And his disciples. So why did Jesus not answer a word? Because, like I said, he was he was going by the custom of his day and so, not really not really talking to women in public. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what scripture says that? He healed others. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. What scripture says yes, that? What you just said. What scripture says that? What you just said. What is this? What, where can I, what chapter verse says what you just said? I don't think it's, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, a it's just how you got to understand. It's a thought. It's just how you got to understand the way. It's a thought. The, the men operate. No, it's a thought. No, it's the way the men operate. It you was know? never, no, that they was didn't, never. You know that, you know that, you know they, you know the men kind of like, no. you know they look down on women. No. Of course. We honor I mean, women. At the end, at the end of, at the end of I mean, each camp session, we talk about a story in Matthew 26 about what a woman did for Christ. That's right. Oh. So that's the misconception about the so-called black Hebrew Israelites. We got to stop doing that. We honor our women. But right. that's another whole subject. Right. God or Christ didn't speak to her because she was another nation. Right. She yeah. was ignored by the Son of God. Yeah. That's what happened. Read. But he answered her not a word. It didn't say he answered her not a word because she was a woman. She had ovaries. It didn't say that. Read. And his disciples came and besought him saying, send her away. No, no, the disciples were good loving people. The Christians were called first oh, at Antioch. Oh, and they said what? There was Jews. Say it, why send her away. Why are you gonna call him? For she crieth after us. Same thing. But he answered and said, I am not Let's see what Jesus Christ said. Did he say I'm not sent to females? Or did he say I'm not sent to other nations? Read. Finish it. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Christ said, I'm not sent only, I'm only sent to die. For the children of Israel. That's right. Luke 168. Read what you got. This is the book of Mark, chapter 5 and verse 25. And a certain woman. This is funny. You said Christ didn't talk to women, or old Jewish rabbis didn't talk to women. Read. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood. A certain what? A certain woman. Sure with a man. 
certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. So she couldn't get healed until this point, right? Watch this, brother. Verse 32, and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him. To who? Before him. She fell down before Christ. Let's see what took place. Read. And told him all the truth. She told him all her situation. Let's see the answer. And he said. Oh my God. He what? And he said unto her, daughter. He called her daughter. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Christ and the leaders spoke to women. They didn't look down on them. Luke 1, 68. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It's not the God of all the nations. And you have an understanding of that when it says, okay, all these things are for the Gentiles. You're right. I'm not knocking it. But we ourselves have to stop acting like Gentiles. You understand? I'm going to show you some laws real quick. Read. For he hath visited and yes, redeemed his people and hath raised up in horn of yeah. salvation for us in the house of his servant David. It said that he made a, a covenant of salvation for us, the us of the children of Israel, right. in the house of his servant David. Who is that from? Christ. Because right. Christ came from the lineage of David. Right. Right. You understand? So the other nations cannot be saved, brother. Right. No, they cannot. Be it. That's be it. Give me a scripture to say that. Other nations can be saved. Oh. Yes, they can. Okay. Romans they, yes, they nine. can. Wake it up! See, man, y'all, y'all teaching, y'all, y'all teaching wrong, man. We teach it wrong. Romans yeah. chapter nine. Yeah, Guess what? Guess what? Romans yeah. chapter nine. They, I want you to hold y'all teaching wrong. Okay. You got it down there. Give me Nehemiah ten thirty one. I'm gonna show you who's teaching wrong, cause it's by example and it's also by speech. I'm gonna show you how you're teaching him wrong, right, right, right. and how you're wrong. wrong. You've been here before, and you should have told him what to do. Exactly. Oh, I'm teaching. I'm teaching my son wrong. Romans chapter 9 verse 3 For oh, I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ Paul said I wish I could be a curse from Christ Paul was a disciple Paul was someone that was from Paul, the tribe Paul. of Paul. Benjamin Apostle, a disciple, a, 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 a disciplined soldier for Christ It's the same thing Who taught Paul? Bring it up Who taught Paul? He, he, he said Who taught Paul? He said no man taught him Who taught Paul? God. We're going to get there. I want to deal with this. He, we got to smash that his, whole nation. He said it in his right. You're all over the place. He said it in his right. You're running into this door, that door, this Let's door, read. that door. Great. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 11. Right but on. I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. It's not after man. No man taught me, but who? For I neither received it of man. I didn't receive it from a mortal man, read. Neither was I taught it. But by the revelation. But by the only way I was taught by this was by the revelation, the revealing, the message oh. of Jesus Christ. Christ told Paul. Yeah. 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 Verse three. Yeah. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. That's why he could say that, because Paul taught him. I mean, Christ taught him personally. Right. 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 For my brethren. Now who? My brethren. Brethren are people that come from like he. You're my brothers. We all come from the same people. Right. right. We gotta have love for each other. You're yeah. our brothers. Right. Read. Right. My kinsmen. What's kinsmen? Kinsmen going to kinfolk. Relatives. Relatives. So he's the, everybody ain't, re ain't related. Right. Yeah. Read. Yeah. According to the flesh. Spiritual. To the flesh. Spiritual. The flesh. Fleshly. Just like that's your son. Yeah. If if uh, I'm your brother, he will be my nephew. Right. Read. Verse four. Who are Israelites? Who is Paul's brethren? Who? Are Israelites. Paul's That's brother right, are the Israelites. Right, it's not right. Right. So it's message. Paul's, if you listen to what that just said, Paul wrote the majority of the New Testament. Right. If he said, I wish I could be a curse for my brethren, that means that his message was only written to his brothers. That's right. That's right. So how in the hell can all this over here be written to white folks? Bring it up. They can't join the family because they were never a part of the family. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah, whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom? What does to whom mean? Like, who are Israelites? What's the next symbol beside that? To whom pertaineth? So the Israelites pertain to what? Let's see. The adoption. What's the adoption? The adoption 
back into the covenant right. after we broke our covenant. Right. right. The other nations never had an old covenant That's to right. get a new one. That's right. The other nations, the other nations never had an old covenant to break the to get a new. Right. The other right. nations can The other nations can be adopted into new covenant into the family. The new covenant. Right. Right. The adoption and the glory. And the what? And the glory. The glory is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. The adoption applies to who? Uh, none, none Jews. Read it again. Verse 4. Bring it out. Who are Israelites? That's right. To whom pertain? To whom? To whom? To what? Whom? To what? Whom? The Israelites. To whom? There's no need. To whom? There's no need to adopt a Jew. To whom? To whom? Because the Jew is That's already in the family. By that statement, I know you don't know the history of Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. Right. Just be quiet. Right. Just by that statement, I know you don't know that history. Read. To the whom pertaineth the, the adoption? The adoption pertains to the Israelites. That's Read. No, and the no, glory. No, no, and the no, pertains no, to the Israelites. No, Read. And the... No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. 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 Who was the covenant given to? Who's the old covenant given to? The old covenant? Yeah, who's that given to? Be honest, who's the old covenant given to? Uh, oh, that's what you said, what I meant. Uh, Noah, Moses, you I mean, Noah, Abraham, Abraham you, you hate Israel, Moses. What? You hate Israel, don't you? Let's see, read it. The book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. Yeah. For finding fault with them. Who is them? Say that again, read that again. Yeah, you gotta listen, read. For finding fault with them. How can you find fault with somebody? If you never was dealing with somebody. Bring it up. Finding fault with somebody that was close to Christ. That was close to God. Read. He said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Everybody. Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. House of who? Judah. Israel is northern kingdom. Judah is southern kingdom. Read. That's it. Read Not up. according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the yeah, hand to leave Oh, no, 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 no. You got to hear this last verse right here. Listen to this. Not, a, not, not according, according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Who came out of the land of Egypt? Uh, the Israelites. Okay. So the new covenant is No, oh, along with non-Israelites. They came, with, they came they came with Israelites. Because they continue Israel. not in my Am covenant. Right? Because they continue not in my what? In my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. So let me ask you a question. Let's say, because we're gonna go back to Romans 9. Let's say about a prison. Let's say the side of a prison gets blown up. It's everybody in there. The person that blown it up was your son to get you out. Right? But everybody else leave that with you. Did your son come to save you or everybody? Bring it up. Uh, every, no. every, everybody by default of saving me. I mean, I don't know. Romans chapter nine and verse four. Yeah. Who are you, you? You mess with other? Do you mess with other nations? Do I mess with them? Do you sleep with other nations or anything like that? Do you have a, like a other nation as a girlfriend or something? Cause yeah. <laughs> do you? Oh. You know? Oh. No, because I'm trying to. Because you gotta understand, bro. You so special. It's like you're trying to give a covenant or a promise that's only be given to your people that's and right. you that's and somebody right. else. That's right. Because he said, go and go out into all the world and. Preach yeah, to every, go, he go said, go preach to every creature. Go, I want you to hey, point though. Yeah, hey, he yeah. said, preach to every creature. Right. And a creature. So a creature. Every a creature what? is like Gentiles, oh. dogs, cats. I mean, Ooh. hell no. Just, just yeah. every creature. You know what I'm saying? A creature. Second, it's 854. So, he, he so, said, he so said, God, so God, God said, preach the gospel to everybody. God told us to go ahead and preach to dogs, cats, it, lions, tigers, and bears. All of life. Lion, please repent. That lion gonna eat me alive. You know why? Because the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for me to wake up first. Yeah. You don't know that yeah. stuff, right? But, but, but by preaching, that's 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 a display. Well, you can go that preach you to the zoo. are awoke. You can go you, preach that, to the zoo. That you are awake. You can go preach to the zoo. God said go preach to the Israelites. That's right. Great. Uh, go back to Romans 9. Romans 9. 
Paul was sent to them. I'm gonna deal with your question right quick, bro. Go ahead, bro. What's your question? Well, I, got, I want to finish Romans nine. I want you to answer though. I got a few though. Like, and we gonna deal with Gentiles because you may not know who the Gentiles are. The first one is y'all was saying like how I was listening to how you were saying that the Gentiles would not keep the Sabbath. Like they don't keep the Sabbath and not for them, right? Well, I had a question about Isaiah fifty six, six and seven. And I'll start the okay. Read. Romans chapter oh, nine and verse four. Who are Israelites? So who are Israelites? To who? Pertaineth the adoption, the adoption of Christ, and the glory, the glory of the kingdom, and the covenant, the old and new covenant, read, and the giving of the law. The what? The giving of the law. Is the Sabbath a part of the law? Yes. Absolutely. So who was the law given to? The Israelites. Absolutely. So was the law given to everybody else? Well, I, yes or no? It was my belief that they were the, that we were that we were the uh pillars of God on earth and that all other nations were to be subjected under Israel. Of like they, they, we were supposed to rule, so we were supposed to be the ruler. The other nations are going to keep the laws. A try, uh, uh, listen, when we get the kingdom, right? Yeah, there you go. All people, because we're the pillars at that time, like right now we're not the pillars. Right. But at that time when we get reestablished, every knee going to have to bow to Christ. That's right. And the Israelites. That's right. And in that bowing, every nation going to have to keep the Sabbath. That's right. Every nation going to have to keep the tabernacles. That's right. Every nation going to have to keep everything that's in the law. That's right. Okay, watch this. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh Come to worship before me, said the Lord. So it said in the kingdom, all flesh, all creatures are going to have to come worship the Most High God in keeping the law. And if you do not, then it's off with your head. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.